Hello everyone, and welcome back to Addiction Solutions with Roselle. So glad that you could join me again for another episode. Uh, as I say in the beginning of every show, I would like for you to go to YouTube, uh, go to Addiction Solutions with Roselle, and subscribe. Yes, there's a lot of information on those videos, and you can pass this information along to your family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, church members, anybody that you think may be having a problem with addiction. And this addiction uh, that I'm doing, the videos that I'm doing, covers all addictions, not just drugs and alcohol. You know that we have gambling, we have sex, we have overeating, we have credit cards, we have shopping, all of these things that you can get some type of help. I am a former therapist and I am in recovery. So I think that this information comes from the heart and it's for to help people and not to try to belittle people or down them or tell them that they are less than because you're not. You have an opportunity to turn your life around and I'm going to see what I can do to help you. So what we've been talking about now is a manual that I wrote. Now, I haven't uh, published it yet, but I don't know if I will or I won't, but the 21 point manual is complete. And so uh, we did the first two in the introduction, we did chapter one and chapter two. And so chapter one, briefly, uh, it just opened up and told a little bit about what the process was of recovery because it's a process. You've got the recovery process, you've got the relapse process. The second chapter talked about your environment, how important it is to stay away from those individuals that you got high with, because like I said, oil and water does not mix. And so now we're uh, going to discuss the 12 step meetings and there's 12 step meetings for every addiction. Now, Roselle, what is the importance of the 12 step meetings? Well, glad you asked. This is a place that you can go to get help from people that are not professionals. Yes, it says right in the literature, if you're a therapist, leave your credentials at the door. I used to be so mad about that because I was a therapist and I hated it, but I never said nothing. And they were right. You can't do therapy on people in those meetings. All you can do is give your truth, uh, hope, and experience. That's all you can do. You can't give advice. You give suggestions. It's a program of suggestions. Now, there are meetings all over the world. Now, I'm, self, I'm speaking mostly now of Narcotics Anonymous, Alcohol Anonymous, and they do have Gamblers Anonymous. They got Overeating Anonymous. They got Emotional Anonymous. They got every anonymous you can name. So 12-step meetings simply, uh, you know, it, it discusses uh, uh, the importance. If you read my first book, you will see that I went uh, over the importance of meetings over and over again. In order to have an, any success in the recovery process, you must put some maintenance. And that's what the meetings are. You're putting maintenance on your disease. Well, what, is, what do you mean maintenance, Rosa? Well, it's the same as your vehicle or your health or anything that has to have somebody look at the situation and fine tune it. So people think, well, I'm not drinking anymore. I should be okay. Well, maybe, you know, yeah, you're not drinking anymore, but now what do you do? I just said in the chapter before, you can't go around those old friends. So now what do you do? Since you can't go around them, uh, them and see, you know, hey guys, look at me, I gained weight, I got a car, I got a job, I got a, a ring, I got a watch, I got a new suit. You know, do you think they care? They are trying to figure out a way to rob you. But if you go to the meetings, you give your strength, hope, and experience, and some truth to the best of your ability, but your strength your hope and experience and all this is displayed to the newcomer. Now, initially, you are a newcomer. So I'll take my experience. I was new. 
I didn't know what to expect. I, I, I was at the end of the road. And, and so I say this to, to, to the new people that have had problems with 12-step meetings and, you know, I didn't want to go. And, you know, I'm, I'm honest, I've got to be honest, I'm not going right now. And I've got the nerve to preach to you guys about going to meetings. However, I got enough of it in my system to know that I need to go. I stopped going for what reason? Can't even really tell you. However, we're talking about initially the amount of meetings I went to. When I was in that halfway house, I went to three meetings a day. When I moved out of the halfway house, when I no longer had supervision, no longer had people watching over me, I still went to meetings. I did so many open talks, it's unbelievable. What is an open talk? This is when you get an opportunity to give your strength, hope, and experience without anybody interrupting. Now, when you go to the meetings, the setting, you got someone, a chairperson that opens the meeting, uh, people do the readings, you know, and then after the readings, whatever the format is for that particular meeting, they'll either have an open speaker, which I was at times, or they'll have tables, which I participated in. When I moved to another state, they had a, a big room with everybody in it, and, and the meeting was conducted like that. The chairperson, they'd pick a topic, whatever the topic was, and then people would share on that, or again, your strength, hope, and experience. So there are different formats for meetings. But my point is this, that structure is what kept me clean because I know I had some place to go, good or bad, whatever I had to share, good or bad, I know I had some place I could go and people are gonna judge, but the point is who cares? You know, don't you think people judged you when you were in the street getting high? They saw you coming and they would just talk about you like, you know, you were the worst thing on the first face of the earth. So now all of a sudden you're trying to change your life, get clean, become a respectable, productive member of society. And, you know, people are going to talk about you. You got to have a thick skin, man, coming up out of this process of drugging or gambling or sexing or eating or shopping. You got to have a thick skin. Because the process going backwards, my man, is really, really rough. Because you have nothing to protect you but this. 12-step meetings will protect you. So, I'm going to end it there. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to end it there. We're going to come back next week. We're going to go into the next chapter, which talks about the 12-step literature. I want you to stay blessed. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.